Here we have the cabbages that were propagating. If you saw the video, uh, I, I think I planted eight that came out from one cabbage core that uh, we cooked. We took out the core and planted it and we had gone eight, eight uh, small cabbages that we could replant. So uh, I planted them here. It may have been two or three weeks ago. And the, they're, here they are, but now they have some friends with them here. We have a little melon plant. It's kind of sad, but it's there. We have some, uh, I think there's some purslane right here. There's some purslane right here. And uh, there's some uh, wood sorrel that's already closing up. This is the... A wheat that has three hearts and that's very edible so everything in here is edible and you can cook them together too okay but the melons of course we have to wait for them to come out I'm gonna put this out for right now so we can have some more room to we're going to take some out of here some of the cabbage because I may leave that big one here so this is the biggest one and it's doing really good it really likes it there and so um, there's this middle one that I want to take out and three there's three that I mean I need to take out but the bigger ones are these two so I may only take out two because this one I'll give it a chance to grow more so to today we're gonna take that out I'm gonna take I already have a, a little pot ready here I put some leaves on the bottom and twigs and then some uh, some um, soil from here from my garden from under all the leaves so I know it's good soil and it's also sandy soil so it's very, has very good drainage so we're going to put one there let me take this one that I'm going to take out seems seems to have two stems coming out <laughs> two stems coming out of it but I, I don't know if it's the one that had two stems or is that going to be two or is that one? Maybe I should cut that and make it two. Because I don't, I think these are two. So I'll probably, uh, let me cut that. Or should I wait till it's bigger? Maybe I'll, I'll plant them together and when it gets bigger, I'll separate it. Yeah, let's do that because it's kind of small. This is kind of small right here. If I were to cut this in half, it would take some some uh, roots with it, but I think I'll wait because I did lose some of them. So we're going to plant it here and then I'll put some water in a while. And this is going to be its new home and this is going to be where that cabbage is. Then I'm going to set it. This is going to be sitting. So it's going to be in a pot. It's going to be sitting on another pot that I would be composting in. So here would be like coffee grounds. I would put a little shredded paper, twigs. I would put eggshells. Did I already say that? Well, stuff like that. And then water this and this would feed from there because that's how i had this one that's how this survived from a um another pot under it with compost always composting in place that's how that grew and that's what i'm gonna do with this one this will sit in another pot so now on this one i need to take another one out probably take out this one on the side this one here and uh, there it comes out really easy there we go this is where I had cut it and it's already growing roots so it didn't rot and I didn't put I should have put cinnamon on it I didn't but now I know better next time I put cinnamon wherever I cut before I plant it so this one will go here own pot and it also will have another pot on the bottom for composting in place 
this will be sitting on other pots like this one that I had it on another pot we'll leave this big one here and then we'll let this little one grow more when it's bigger I'll change it to another pot this one here and then this purslane that's going to grow there and hopefully this uh, this is uh, a melon a cantaloupe so that I will let that grow here and of course there we have the uh, this will just multiply on their own the wood sorrel okay so we're very we're very happy just to have this one going like as fast as it's going so um, let's say we ended up with four and this may be two so five out of one core whereas I had started out with eight yeah okay so this one we're going to leave here and put it back in its composting pot. That should be on the floor. Well, you know, maybe I should take that one out since I have another pot ready. Oh. I do have another pot ready here, so I should take the other one out. Might as well. Might as well. Okay. So we'll take this middle one out. It's not so big. And we'll put it here in this pot. Okay. And that way I won't be so worried about this one. That it doesn't have enough space. To stretch and grow. Okay. So this will be like a giant cabbage. It will take up all this space. And then these. If I need a bigger pot. I will change them. But I don't know. And that's. I still have a chance on that. So. But this one is going like 100 miles an hour. This one. So uh, let me do the middle one here. This little one we're going to remove. This little one. So this other one can have a lot of space. Yeah. And then uh, there we are. This is the one I had cut. This is the cut I had made right here. With an, uh, an I think I used a butter knife. I think. I'm not sure. Well, if you check that other video, you can see how I cut all these parts from one core. I cut like eight off in one of my previous videos. So you can see how I, I divided it and now how it's growing. Uh, it's been almost like three weeks, I'm going to say. Maybe three weeks, two and a half. So, and now I'm changing them to their own pot. And then I may have to change them again, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. But you see how it didn't rot and I didn't even put cinnamon or any root... Uh, root i don't know what you call that that thing well anyway so and it did really good and there are the roots so we're gonna stick that one in here in this new pot can you see there yeah okay there we're gonna stick this one here do you see any leaves that are not too uh healthy cut them off at this point so now we have three remember that i'm going to water them and put them on another pot to compost in place okay just to help them out and then it, it may be if they don't need it then we'll I'll just leave them on their own so now this melon is going to have a lot more space here this purslane is going to thrive and your uh, cabbage going to have a lot more room than it did before so right now what we're what I'm gonna I'm doing right now is I'm already starting another cabbage. I have a cabbage core here. And uh, we I can't see really anything. Just a little bit green here. But I'm not really, not really. I can't really see anything. This has been here like three days. And then on the side here, I have some lettuce cores. You can see something coming out right there. A lettuce core. And then all this will start rotting. And you will be change the water every single day. I leave it out in the sun. And then we also have this lettuce. So you see this. That's why you change the water. Because all this will start rotting. All this. And you have to remove it. And change the water. So. Just leave the top out of the water. And that's how it will grow. I, it is kind of small. So I kind of have to lean this one. In between. But it still needs to be getting water though. So I'll put it over here. I'm waiting for the cabbage to sprout. 
and uh, this lettuce already sprouted right here you can see now we have the sun and there's a shadow but you can see it right here change the water every day and then you end up with little sprouts coming all around the cabbage and then you can cut it and replant it and then you have separate plants of cabbage okay so that's all I wanted to let you know and an update on the cabbage, how it's doing. And always have new vegetables um, ready, to, um, ready to grow. So you'll never uh, be um, without onions, tomatoes, garlic, and now cabbage and lettuce. I'm very happy about this because I hadn't done this. This needs to stand there. I'm going to change the water and then we're fine. Okay? So go ahead and try something like that. And if you, if you try and it doesn't work, it's all right. It was just something you were going to throw anyway. And then try again and try again until it works for you. If you work every day, put it somewhere where you do stand every day. Like at the sink, close to the stove. If you open the fridge, close to where you go every day. So that way you can see it. And so it won't be just an extra shore. All right? Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining me. And I just wanted to do an update on that. And uh, thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next video.